How is everybody doing? So I got my second favorite thing here to hunt, and that is a $100 box of nickels. Looking for proof coins, error coins, silver war nickels. Those are nickels dated 1942 through 45 that have a mint mark above the Monticello building. Um, also hoping to find any Indian head, or not Indian head, I'm sorry, buffalo nickels or some V nickels. That happens every once in a while. There's also a couple key date coins that I'm looking for. And then on a side note, I also save anything from the 40s. So um, whether it's a war nickel or not, I do save those. Just put them up just because they're getting harder and harder to find. Uh, something else I look for is the 2009 nickels. Um, pretty low mintage on those. Those are pretty hard to find, believe it or not. But go ahead and get, get hunting on this box. And I'll let you know what I find. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do that and give the video a like. And if you don't like it, hit the like button three times. Thanks for watching. Be right back. Well, I've got something different here. I don't know what kind of coin it is. Let's take a look. Actually, let me make sure. Well, let's get right to it. Oh, well, never mind. It's just a nickel. Looks like a nickel's been uh, heated up or something. Nothing special. Like I said, I think it's just got some kind of something on it. I don't know. It's different. I'll go ahead and throw it in my bucket, but uh, I really thought it was something cool. Never know. I'll go ahead and hold on to it, though. But we're about six rolls in. Nothing special yet. I did find, let's see, did find a 68 D. I don't even know why I was going to keep that. Let me get rid of that one. What else was it that I kept? This 59. Like I said, I normally keep all my 40s, but this 59 just looked really cool. I don't know why. Just the letters was really bold looking. 59 Denver. Yeah, I went ahead and kept it. Why not? But let's get back at it. Hopefully I can find something really cool in here. Well, I found another foreign coin. And what I mean by another is uh, I found a Canadian nickel a while ago. I didn't hit the record button. But it is a 1988. Kind of discolored looking, but really cool. Like I said, I always love finding foreign coins. Typically what I find is Canadian, but uh, just found this one. I don't even know what it is yet, really yet. So... Maybe you guys can tell me what it is. Without looking it up, I am not 100% sure. Some kind of oriental or uh, Asian coin, I guess. Actually, let me look this up and see what this is. All right, I didn't do a whole bunch of research on it. Long story short, uh, 100 yen. One website calls it a Japanese 100 yen. Another one calls it Okinawan. So that, I'm not 100% sure. I um, guess it's the same place, basically. Or really close, same province or country, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know what I mean. Either way, that's really cool. How in the world did that get in here? Okay, thought there was something else there yet. Haven't been that far yet. But anyway... Found two foreign coins. That's pretty cool. Looks like I've got about 12 rolls left in this box. Uh, not been a fantastic box. Haven't really found anything eh, very cool. I did. I do got some, uh, some coins from the 40s. Like I said, I do keep all the Jefferson nickels from the 40s. I think I believe I got a 41, a 46, 47 maybe. A um, few other ones in there. But no silver war nickels, um, no errors or variety coins as of yet. Something that I always do is I definitely, when I go through nickels, um, I always flip them directly over and make sure there's no offset or any kind of rotation error. I have found a lot of those in the past. I know it takes a little bit of time to do that, but uh, it's one of the things I'm looking for. I definitely enjoy nickels, though. Um, a lot better than I do dimes and quarters even. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get at it. I still got 12 more rolls. Hopefully I'll find some cool stuff in here to show you guys. All right, so very next roll. Um, 
I was pretty sure that's what it was. Um, but then I went ahead and went ahead and took a quick peek. So just a heads up, I do know that this is a silver war nickel. Usually um, I am fooled every once in a while, but you can see the dark gray, you know, edges, edging there. Usually is a pretty good sign, but not always the case. Some of these coins are jacked up. But this one here is a. Let me go ahead and get that zoom in. Of course, it's a 1943. Philadelphia, seeking the mint mark above the Monticello building. So that is a 35% silver war nickel. And we've got 11 rolls left, so uh, I didn't have very high hopes. So two foreign coins and a silver war nickel. That is pretty sweet. Definitely take that. Actually, I better set it a little bit off to the side so I don't get it mixed up. But anyway, I'll keep hunting. Hopefully we'll find some more stuff. So here's a prime example here. At first I thought it was a silver war nickel. I went ahead and took a peek. Actually just a really nasty nickel. Oops. Sorry. A really nasty nickel. 83. It's pretty yucky. There's something there. It's kind of gray looking. Let's see what that is. 64. Tons of 64s out there, that's for sure. All right, well, like I said, you've seen that discoloration. I thought there for a minute was another silver war nickel, but uh, that is not the case. All right, did find another Canadian nickel here. This one is dated 1982. So, I believe that makes two, maybe three Canadian nickels I found in this box. Um, one or yeah, three Canadian nickel, no, two Canadian nickels, and then the uh, Japanese coin, Japan coin, 100 yen, and one silver war nickel. I got two rolls of nickels left to hunt, so hopefully, I can find a buffalo nickel or something cool. All right, that was it. Um, so I almost found an off center one, maybe it is considered an off center just a touch. You can see the really big, thick collar here. No collar over there. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna. Yeah, I probably will save it. I'll probably just throw it off and throw it off on the side. I don't think there's any value there. Maybe, maybe there is. You guys, let me know in the comments down below if that that's worth saving. If it's worth anything. It's kind of cool. Like I said it's a pretty good, fat little collar there. And it's really close to the edging there. The reverse looks fine. No real off-centering going on there so much. But anyway, um, like I said, we did find the silver war nickel right there. So that is very cool. It's worth a couple bucks. Um, the way silver goes up and down. So 35% silver. So definitely a good find. I'll definitely have to grab another box of nickels. Um, like I said, I always enjoy nickels and, and Lincoln cents. But anyway, uh, new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Comment in the comment section down below. Smash that like button if you don't mind. I definitely appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned to the after scenes, the after credits, whatever you want to call it. Well, obviously that box of nickels is done. So uh, I'm on a work job right now, getting ready to inspect an attic. Let me show you that. Getting ready to climb up in a customer's attic and check it out. Not a very fun job, especially for a Friday. I don't know what day it is that this video is airing, but uh, wish me luck. Hopefully there ain't no spiders up here, nothing crazy, no bats, but uh, a little bit of fallen insulation. So uh, appreciate you guys watching my videos, by the way. I uh, love reading the comments in the comments section. And uh, this might have got a little, little insulation in my eye here. Yeah, I got a little bit of insulation in my eye. Uh, anyway, um, 
If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, comment in the comment section down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.